everybody, welcome back to this one, like, tutorial on how to build a website using CodePen that actually has its own domain and everything really cool. Um, we're gonna be using .tk and a bunch of other stuff to make this real. Now, first of all, I think I made a mistake here because I forgot to type in URL. And if you do this right, then you do that. Um, now, here's a really cool website to refer to. It's called Kids and N. And it's by my cousin Arnov. And you want to go to Kids and N's source code, which is on the screen right now. Um, kids News Now. And it's a great news website that's made by kids. Just like me and you. And do not make any changes. Otherwise, it will just plain like go crazy like that. And now you just want to go to behavior. And then make sure that it does not just... Or we keep updating because that gets annoying after a while <sighs> and then what you want to do I think I made a mistake here so uh, let's see uh, he has his doing fitted and if you want to do something like he is doing um, then you want to HTML and where is fitted he had fitted somewhere uh, let's see Fitted, 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 fitted. Where'd he put it? Oh, wait, this is my website. Right. Okay. Background size fill. You can add that if you just want it to absolutely fill the background and not Tyler do anything crazy, which I think I should really be doing. Um, so you would just want to do here. Just want to go here and you do back. Back. Ground size and I'm just keep gonna referring to this just kind of keep referring to this background size equals fill okay cool uh, and whenever you do CSS make sure you do really really have to add some really like you just gotta add the semicolons otherwise it's gonna give you errors because it doesn't think that you've ended your code but you have so oh well so you just want to keep doing this back Ground size fill. Oh, whoopsie. You cannot afford to make a mess here. Save. Hmm, why is it not doing this? And when you are confused, hmm, okay, that's weird. Hmm. Okay, that's fun. Yeah, that's that's kind of weird. Ah, uh, okay, okay, never mind. Never mind. Don't mind it. It'll be fine. Then what you want to do is you want to do H2 and H3 and use different pictures for those. So I'm just going to copy. It's literally the same thing. So I'm literally just going to copy the entire H2 and H3. I actually um, have like 51 lines of CSS and uh, like 80 lines of exactly 80 lines of HTML. So that's how you can make something that looks like this with even like identity stuff. Now that that's done, we have added our H2 and H3. Uh, you want to add P. And P code is really simple. You just want to do font family is one of your fonts. Um, you can use Ubuntu. I'm use I'm gonna use Oswald for this one. And the same thing for this website. Um, if you want to, what I'm going to do is take one of say my title here, and then do font family. It's gonna get imported from the JavaScript font family. Colin Ubuntu Ubuntu Latin because that's the that's the key type we're using. Just want to hit run, and then you have your font. Now I'm gonna use Oswald because I've already used Ubuntu Oswald. 
and boom, you have that there. And now I'm just going to change it back to auto update. And so here we have the barn tacky, like the start here. And for this, I'm just going to use different pictures. Um, I like Geometry Dash, so I'm going to use Geometry D, Geometry Dash. Pictures. Something like this, or something simple. Do you want to open this? Hit view image. Find this. Like, copy the link. And then literally just take it. And paste it. And then you just want... Now for the JavaScript hard part. Uh, what you want to do is you want to type in the following here. You want to create a script tag and do window.onload equals my function. Uh, I'm going to have this code posted in the description. So if you don't want to type, if you're feeling lazy like I am, you can just copy paste it from here. Like that. And now it'll say, please enter your name. And then it will say something like, hello. Hmm, where's the PID thing? Hmm. Did I forget something? Well, it's clear that I forgot the demo P thing. Like PogChamp. Let's try that again. Hello? Hello? There it is, welcome, Tanker. Oh... Okay, I didn't want that to be P. Hmm. Why is that happening? That shouldn't be happening. That really shouldn't be happening. And now is the time where you want to turn off auto update preview. Investigating bugs like. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's because I actually added an H1 tag. Like, what a dummy. I forgot a slash. That's better. <laughs> that's better. And now you can change your default, what it's default filled. I'm going to change it to techie. Like, welcome, techie. And now, at this point, we are done with the first, like, script part. And we have 12 lines of HTML and 20 lines of CSS. But wait, we're not on CSS yet. And you want to take, we did um, H1, uh, H2, and H3, right? We did the headings. And now we have to do the text. Now for all the um, buttons, now for the button text. Uh, this I'm not going to type. This I'm just going to throw in the description because it's a lot of code. Um, Arnav worked really hard on making this code for his website. Um, so a great thank you to Arnav for helping me like with CodePen and um, all this other stuff. And yeah. So now you have all this here the divs and stuff. Now for the buttons. So what you want to see this button, this snazzy button here, and you want to take something, yeah, this, this, you want to do div, ul, div, li, a, ref, equals, coming in a few minutes, mom! Div, ul, div, li, a, ref, and then I'll just, like, put this here. Just put this somewhere. It, like in the like in the uh, thing. Wow, this is going quick. Um, so I'm gonna sort of, like just copy paste it, and we're gonna end. I'm gonna end this episode here on this note here. Uh, now we have it like identifying our names and stuff. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. And if you like this video, subscribe and yeah. Stay creative.